Great rising, beautiful people. It's your girl, Nikki New, a.k.a. Nick to the New, a.k.a. Nick Maddox. I'll be killing with the truth, creating fun of Are You Mod? Podcast for the people here for our soul segment as part of our holistic healing, mind, body, and soul. Our soul component and consists of uh, setting the intention for the day. How better way to do so with the daily bread? So get your daily bread and let's go. So today is Monday. February the 5th, all right? I know I had a little rant with Tyrese yesterday, but it's actually, today's actually the fifth day of uh, Black History Month. All right, so let's dig in. Today's reading is from John chapter 8, verses 2 to 11. Has no one condemned you? That's what the verse says, all right? So today's Daily Bread reading is entitled Extending Dignity. Let's dig in. It says, Maggie's young friend... Look, Maggie's young friend showed up in church shockingly dressed. No one should have been surprised, though. She was a prostitute. Maggie's visitor shifted uneasily in her seat, alternating, tugging at her much too short skirt and folding her arms self-consciously around herself. Pause. Okay. Damn, she's a prostitute, though? Damn. All right, never mind. Let me keep reading. Oh, are you cold? Maggie asks deftly diverting attention away from how she was dressed. Here, take my shawl. Maggie introduced dozens of people to Jesus simply by inviting them to come to church and helping them feel comfortable. The gospel had a way of shining through her win- with her winds some methods. Some treated everyone with dignity. She treated everyone with dignity, excuse me. When religious leaders dragged a woman before Jesus with the harsh and accurate charge of adultery, Christ kept the attention off of her until he sent her accusers away. Once they were gone, he could have scolded her. Instead, he asked two simple questions. Where are they? And uh, has no one condemned you? John chapter 8 verses 10. The answer to the latter question, of course, was no. So Jesus gave her the gospel in one brief statement. Then neither do I condemn you. And then the invitation, go now and leave your life of sin. Verse 11. Never underestimate the power of genuine love for people, the kind of love that refuses to condemn even as it extends dignity and forgiveness to everyone. How will you react when you see someone who's living a hard lifestyle? Question mark. Who can you invite to church this week and how might you get them to come? Question mark. Okay. So the prayer today says, gracious God, please forgive me for having a judgmental spirit and help me to show others your love and grace. All right, so that's that. So it says, how will you react when you see someone who's living a hard lifestyle? I hope you're not acting too hard because. Okay. We all had to fall down to find the Lord. All right. So from the prostitutes to the drug dealers to this to the that to the. Listen, we all fall short at some time in life, but it doesn't mean you can't get back up. So like he said. They don't condemn you, so I don't condemn you too. Great rising, great rising, great rising. Yes, listen, I just want to uh, look at me. (laughs) I just want to put that message out to you. I followed the word because that's what I was raised on. So as far as affirmations and things of that nature, this is why I don't. it, It keeps me aligned in terms of, you know, setting the intentions and like you know, um, kind of similar to Cat Williams in regards to like you know, I'm just trying to be on the good side of 